Hi. So welcome back to another Scratch tutorial. And you know how most people have intros? Well, you're going to make one of them, but it's going to be quite simple. But yeah, just a starter. So you're probably going to want to have two sprites. First sprite, go to Bitmap, and maybe choose one of these. Three. And choose the any cards, doesn't really matter. Um, and I've chosen this. So, yeah. And now we're going to go here. And you're going to write what you want the intro to say. So, I'm just going to put a name, but let's say your name is, um, I'll just write like purple, <laughs> whatever your name is. Have this here. Purple. Um, I'll probably make it like curly uh, marker. Kind of like this. Now we try this. Yeah, this this looks alright. So it's a new name. And what we're going to do is we're going to go onto the spray work with the colour. I'm going to go one flag click. Set size to zero. And we're also going to now we're going to set ghost effect to 100. So this is completely hidden, you see. And we're going to go repeat and we're going to go change size by 10 change ghost effect by um, minus 10 so let's try this you can see this happens it's all quite quick so first of all here I'm going to go Wait, zero point one seconds. And maybe a bit longer. Zero point five. Let's see how this works. And then it comes. It's even just this to what you want. But yeah, that happens. But it's kind of boring since it's just that. So we're going to go point direct to ninety, and we're going to turn. I just get, you can make it turn and spin around, so, but that's not going to be correct. But if we repeat 10 times, we could do 36. So this kind of happens. I guess we could do 3.6. That kind of that. So yeah, 36, we should have this kind of effect. And you can, you can get a sound off the internet, and go import sound, and then go start sound, and then at the end you can stop sounds. So yeah, this is kind of, it's kind of it. But if you want, you can also go... Change X by ten. Um, maybe we could just change X by five. And we can repeat that ten times. And then we can change X by And then I guess we could make a variable, we'll just use the my variable. So we actually have a variable, and if I click set to zero. And then repeat. Ten times. And then we can change.
Injex. Buy that. And then we can just go like it's like a loop or something. Kind of what happens up the trap start. Can it go to the middle? We do this. Actually, kind of. It's the edge. We can go if touching edge. And then if we just do delete, um, no, hide, we can do, and then we can go back up to here and show when the flag is clicked. If we do this, it'll kind of go like that. And then it'll get such an edge. If we do that, actually, that should make it work there. Is it still it doesn't kind of finish yeah. oh yeah guys doesn't matter I'll just put up there Sorry about that. so yeah, it just deletes instantly so we can go if such the edge and actually let's separate this So it's a different one. Make it wait a little bit. You just hide instantly. As you can see, we have a neutro. So yeah, if you like this video. Then like, subscribe, make sure you save this project, and then as you can see here in the backpack, name this intro one, intro two, and drag it into your backpack. And the good thing about this is, whenever you want, at the start when you make a project, you can just go into your backpack, drag it out. So yeah, trap tutorial, like, subscribe, etc., etc. And yeah, I do lots of videos so. Turn notifications on the way for those. So, yeah, thanks for watching. And bye. Pretty sick intro.